Instructions for the Home Screening Test This instruction video will help you do the home screening test. The home screening test is also known as the Fecal Occult Blood Test, or FOBT. It is a test that looks for hidden blood in the stool or poop. First, we will go over what comes with the test and what you need to know before you do the test. The home screening test comes with three toilet bowl liners, three sticks, a stool sample collection card, envelope A, a postage paid envelope, and a yellow response form. It is important that you follow these instructions carefully. Collect your stool samples three days in a row. If you do not have daily bowel movements, complete the test within a week. Mail the samples within seven days of starting the test. Do not collect the samples if you can see blood in your stool, in this case, see your doctor or within three days before or after your menstrual period. Have just had a colonoscopy or will be having one in the next few months. Do not use toilet bowl cleaners on the days that you are collecting your samples. You do not need to stop eating red meat or stop taking any medications during the test. Continue to eat your usual diet except for vitamin C. Large amounts of vitamin C may hide blood that is in the stool. For three days before and during the time you do the test, avoid vitamin C in excess of 250 milligrams per day from foods, drinks, and or supplements. Some multivitamins and iron pills contain vitamin C, so read the label. Vitamin C is in many foods. Call us or visit coloncheckmb.ca for a list of foods high in vitamin C. We will now go through the steps on how to do the test. Step A, prepare the test card. Write your name and the date that you were collecting the first sample on section one of the card. Step B, prepare the toilet. Flush the toilet and allow the bowl to refill. Lift the toilet seat up, unfold one flushable toilet bowl liner, float it on the surface of the water and allow it to stick to the sides of the toilet bowl. Put the seat down and have a bowel movement. Your stool will fall into the toilet bowl liner. Do not worry if a small amount of toilet water or urine pee falls into the liner. An option is to use a clean disposable container or paper plate instead of the toilet bowl liners provided. Step C, collect stool samples. Open the front flap of section one of the card. Use one of the sticks to get a small sample of your stool. Cover the entire area of box A with a thin smear of stool. Using the same stick, collect a second sample from a different part of your stool. Cover the entire area of box B with a thin smear of stool. Part D, finishing up. Flush stool and toilet bowl liner. Throw the stick into the garbage and then wash your hands. Close front flap of section one. Store your card in envelope A in the bathroom until your next bowel movement. Do not seal envelope A until you have collected all your samples. Step E, repeat all steps A to D for the next two days. Step F, return the test. Make sure you have filled in the yellow form and wrote your name and the collection dates on the flaps of all three sections of the collection card. Now you are ready to fill in the label on envelope A. Put the completed card in envelope A and seal it. Put envelope A and the completed yellow response form in the brown postage paid envelope and mail the brown envelope today. Do not take to your local lab or doctor's office. 